Hey guys, it's Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider. I'm here with Tom Hiddleston, Loki himself. You picked up the Tesseract, breaking reality. I want you to help us fix it. Why me? I need your unique Loki perspective. Before we talked for the original cover story for the magazine, I went back and watched a lot of the movies that you were in just to kind of figure out timelines and all that. Kind of yeah. explain which Loki we're seeing in the series so people understand where we're, where we're finding him. Right, yes. Yeah. So this Loki is the Loki who lost the Battle of New York at the end of the first Avengers film. This is the Loki who went through that the, the, the story of that first Avengers film. You know, he arrived on Earth. He, he had the Tesseract. He was captured by S.H.I.E.L.D. and imprisoned and had lots of kind of interrogation by Samuel L. Jackson's Nick Fury and Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow. And, um, and he invites an alien army to attack the city of Manhattan and is defeated um, by the assembled Avengers, um, the denouement of which is being uh, smashed by the Hulk, rather like a rag doll. <laughs> so uh, this is that Loki. Um, and he's been apprehended and is being taken from Stark Tower towards um, Central Park. But as you see in Avengers Endgame, um, the Avengers from 2019 have gone back in time to 2012 to um, change things around. And in a, a kind of a mix up um, with, I think Ant-Man from 2019 is trying to give Tony Stark from 2012 some kind of cardiac arrest and yeah. the Hulk smashes through a doorway and the suitcase with the blue cue of the Tesseract rolls to Loki's feet. It pops open and because he's the god of mischief, he bends <laughs> down and picks it up and disappears in a puff of smoke. And where he goes next is where we start. Now, since, since the Loki we'll see in the series hasn't gone through the events of Infinity War and Endgame because he came from an earlier time, does that, does that yeah. play into some of his confusion about where he is, or does that play into the plot at all? The fact that he might not have knowledge of some things? Oh, absolutely. I think what's really interesting is that the audience um, broadly have a better perspective on Loki than Loki does. Um, you know, because the audience have seen the events of the Dark World and Ragnarok, Infinity War and Endgame. And this Loki is a Loki that doesn't have any of that self-awareness. He hasn't been on this arc of redemption and catharsis. And um, uh, yes, upon being apprehended by the TVA, he's a very confused um, and destabilized being. He's uh, out of his comfort zone, fish out of water, um, and not happy about it <laughs> basically yeah. tell me about working with owen wilson and his character because it seems from what i've seen in the trailers and everything there seems to be a nice bantering relationship or at least a butting of heads a little bit owen so owen wilson plays a character called mobius and mobius is an analyst in the tva um kind of a academic with a maverick intellect very bright, very curious. And he's almost got this professorial delight and curiosity about Loki. He almost knows more about Loki than Loki does. And um, what's so interesting about the dynamic is that, that Loki's kind of provocative tricks don't really work on Mobius. In a way, Loki and Mobius are quite different and their difference is what makes it interesting and fun. I'm gonna show you something here. We've got hot off the presses. This is the TV guide cover. Oh be yeah, out. look at that. Okay, and, and wow. So, and, and, what he, an honor. and he doesn't, he doesn't look that happy there, but first tell yeah. me, just just tell me about being a part of TV guide magazine. I mean, I think this is your first cover with the magazine. Um, oh, so talk about 100%. that a little bit. Yes, yeah. I know it's my first cover with the magazine. Um, what an honor, my goodness, I mean, I am I'm lucky enough to have been a, uh, a visitor to your fine nation several times um, to you know, to work in the states and and um, and have made many many friends there in my time um, working on lots of different things and whenever I get um, you know my digs or wherever I'm going to stay for for the duration of my employment. You know, one you do the big food shop and and go down to the supermarket and um, 
TV Guide is a staple. It's right there uh, at the, you know, and it's, and it's, I've become really aware that it's, it is a kind of doorway into, into entertainment for, for so much of the country. So it's a massive honor um, to be on the cover. I'm really grateful to you for, for having me on. Okay, can't wait. You guys, Loki premieres June 9th on Disney Plus. TV Guide Magazine is on newsstands now. Tom Hiddleston, thank you as always.